welcome! Welcome to the unboxing of I Buy Power Gaming Desktop. I bought this one uh, from Best Buy. It's a pretty large box, and um, it's very heavy, so uh, we're, you can carry it by yourself, but I needed a little help, because I'm a weak man. Oh my goodness! You need to put this on the desk, but my desk is messy. Use some magic here, and voila! It's all gone! And, um, and oh, don't, don't look over there. So first thing you need to do is uh, use something to cut open the box with. Nope, that won't do. There we go, the Bowie knife. That'll frickin' work. Oh, n Just fix that up right there. Now we're gonna gently open up the box here. Make sure we don't cut anything inside. Cut on one side and then the other side. Everything's gonna be great. And then finally, we open the box. Ah. First thing you're gonna see is the keyboard that comes with it. This keyboard is not um, LED backlit, but uh, the logo is on top. This is the standard uh, keyboard that will come with this specific desktop from Best Buy. And of course you can upgrade if you need be, but I don't really need be. It is a wired keyboard just like the mouse so they're both wired I don't really feel like getting the wireless but there's no need let's get all these little crappy things out of here Ooh, I'm not strong enough I'm not a big man ah there we go finally it's out there's things on the side and it's a pretty tight in there so we're gonna we're gonna have to flip this mother over and to do that, you need to put uh, what we just did, basically was just a waste of time, uh, put it back in the box and flip that mofo over. And once you do that, we're gonna actually take the box off. Gonna lift this bad boy out. Oh sh As you break things that are on the bottom or top, I'm not sure what it is anymore. You might be confused why there are actually two mouses. Mises, mouses, Mises. The Zeus E2, it's standard, that comes with this kit. Um, this actually was a mistake. I called them later and I said, hey, do you want me to send one back? You, you actually gave me two and the guy just laughed and he said, nope, just keep it. So I have two Mises. Another thing that's going to come with your desktop is this manual with all these goodies inside, but we'll get to that later. Let's take this piece of crap off the top or bottom. I'm sure you don't want this upside down, but we're gonna flip it right side up. This might all seem gibberish to you, but it's because it's upside down. Now that it's right side up, we can continue to dismantle the packaging. Now remember that pesky piece at the beginning? Yep, we're gonna take that off forever just toss that gently into the box and we are going to finally reveal the actual desktop all the bags and styrofoam is neatly packed they did a good job at securing the cargo now this is what it's going to look like this is where all the ports and things come in this is a close-up of the sticker that's go going to be on the outside if you purchase this. Of course, the picture on the picture does not look uh, the same, but it's close. I actually prefer mine. It's all the way through instead of this weird cyclone design. But uh, here is, for whatever reason, if uh, yours does not have this, um, this is what you have to do. You're going to have to remove the tempered glass and remove the foam padding inside. This is to prevent anything from inside from jostling around during transport. Coming up to the front, this beast looks amazing. I personally took off all the uh, little stickers and wrappings, but do uh, what you want with them. Coming around the side, uh, this is just a basic side. No glass. You got USB ports and sound ports up here, plus the power button, a little LED light, and of course there is a vent on top, which is very scary for me. Sometimes I, uh, I'm afraid that I'm going to spill something on top. 
Make sure to inspect if there's any cracks or nicks on the glass, because that is a no-no. All right, before we go into the actual computer, we're going to take a look at what's inside the bag that they gave us. First thing we reveal is a Microsoft Windows reinstallation DVD. This is for professional, I believe, 64-bit, so Windows 10. Next thing we reveal from our, looks like a little death bag, is a power cord, of course. Can't do anything without that power cord. Pretty standard. Next thing from the bag is a little USB. Uh, this is actually for um, reaching inside the bag. This is going to be a couple manuals and a disc. This is a GPU tweak. For all you uh, modders out there, this is very important for tweaking any, any hardware that comes inside, especially your video card. My unit came with an uh, Asus. Some other units might be a little different uh, because that's kind of what I buy power is all about. Uh, they kind of take parts and build the computer for you, but not everything inside is going to be the same. I was fortunate enough to have an Asus uh, motherboard and video card. Here's what the manual looks like. In case you don't know what a book looks like, this is what a book looks like. Again, some things might not be the same and some things might not be exactly the same. I just repeated myself, I'm an idiot, ugh. And then the last thing is actually probably the most important. Nope, little screws for the back. Of course, the quick start guide, read this first. This manual will come with phone numbers, which will be very important if you have any uh, issues, which I actually had um, a couple issues which I will explain later. Here I am tearing off the veil for the first time. It's always very um, satisfying to do that, especially on something brand new. Now's the time to open the tempered glass and take out the foam. But first, this is, uh, this is a little annoying. I'm gonna take this off. Oh, it's so satisfying, oh my goodness. But yeah, this is what it looks like. Uh, you have an HDMI there, a DVI over there. Um, but I don't really use those because I use, of course, the ones on the video card, which you should use to begin with. Um, I have four outlets for video, as if you don't count the DVI, uh, which I use actually for my external monitor. Um, so this is a very, very good video card, and I'm very happy with it. Uh, of course, the power is down there. That's the warning sticker instructions for opening up the tempered glass so first i'm going to remove the top two screws that are holding it in on the top very very easy you don't need a screwdriver you just need your fingers all right easy as pie all four are removed you're just going to carefully remove this place it off to the side someplace soft so you don't nick it or scratch it because that would be terrible once you bought your new computer. You don't want anything nicked or scratched. This part's pretty easy. You just remove the pamphlet. That was very helpful. And you just remove this uh, little cutout foam piece. Uh, make sure not to remove it too forcibly as to jostle anything inside. You just kind of want to nudge it and remove it. Now you can just take a quick peek inside to make sure uh, you actually got what you bought. Make sure you have the solid state drive, which I got. Um, the actual drive, which is underneath. I can't really see that. The, of course, the video card, which is massive. Um, as well as all the fans and uh, the RAM. Four slots, two are used. And then, of course, I got the liquid um, cooling system. Make sure you got everything because... Uh, like I said, sometimes when they build these things, they build them so fast that they sometimes don't know what to do with. Keep in mind of that little uh, IR um, receiver up there. Um, that will come into play later, right there, that one. I didn't know what it was at first because I've never had a computer that actually had that. 
Yep. Well, now we're going to do a close up of the RAM A Data, um, which is fine. I mean, not the best brand in my opinion, but I mean, I was very happy with the motherboard and the video card being Aces. So I couldn't really complain. And of course, the South Safe Drive is a uh, WD, which is all right as, as well. All right, now that we have our foam out and uh, make sure you have all the pieces that you actually bought, we're gonna put back the tempered glass. But I'm not gonna do it that way. I'm gonna reveal it by magic. Oh, there we go. Now we're going to peel this off. You can do this before you actually screw it on so it's a little easier. There we go, unnecessarily showing you how to screw in a bolt. I like it, showing you all the details. Now once the film is out, we're going to insert a 007 Nightfire. Oh wait, hmm, hmm, this is not working. Oh yes, I forgot. This particular case does not have a CD-ROM. So that's one of the things I had to get used to. Um, and I couldn't play one of my favorite games, <laughs> but it's the age of digital now, so I guess uh, everything has to change, right? External DVD uh, CD-ROMs are not that expensive, so just keep that in mind. All right, as we plug in the unit, these are all the lights that should be lit. And we are going to press the mother of all buttons right now. Here we go. Hopefully it works. And... <laughs> This is what I got when I pressed the button. So I was actually surprised because um, I actually did not pay for the full spectrum LED uh, lights. I only paid for uh, the standard, which is red. It's See how it's red at the bottom and the fans are red? Um, it was supposed to just be red, but uh, to my surprise, it was kind of just dancing with these colors. And for the longest time, I didn't know how to change it. Um, turns out that uh, they actually upgraded me. Um, I called them, I gave them a call, and they upgraded me to a multicolored LED display uh, inside the case, and that was very nice of them, very nice. Unfortunately, um, they did not provide a remote, uh, which wasn't too bad, I told them about it. And they said, oh, we're so sorry, we're gonna, we'll send you a remote right away. So customer service A plus on iBuyPower. Um, they gave me two mice, meese, meeses, moo, 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 mooses, and they, uh, they, you know, about maybe seven days later, um, I got my remote um, because I could not stop this from from strobing all these different colors. It was a little annoying for a few days, but we got it fixed. So, for, and for, of course, for this video, it's gonna just keep strobing at every color, and that's its, its default setting. Now when you start up uh, Windows, you're gonna pick your country, of course. And uh, this is just basic setup of your new computer. Uh, of course, I live in the Ukraine, so I picked Ukraine. No, I'm kidding. Um, I picked the uh, United States. And uh, I was thinking about uh, using my two Mises, but uh, I decided just to use my old one for the time being, because it was kinda cool. Um, so on to the setup here, click yes. Just one moment. Is this the right keyboard layout? I picked US, of course. Um, I actually didn't know what else to pick. I didn't know there was an Irish keyboard layout. That's weird. Or a Canadian one. That's also weird. You want to add a second keyboard layout? <sighs> what do you think I am? I'm an American. I do one thing. English. That's it. Let's connect you to a network. So once you get connected to the internet, it'll uh, verify that you have a uh, valid copy of Windows. Your, comp your new computer will now be looking for updates, which is very cool. Oh my goodness, look at all these words. Um, I get confused, so I just hit accept. Now this is where you log in with your email, phone, or Skype with Microsoft. So if you don't have one already, you're gonna have to create one. This is where you put all your uh, privacy settings for your device, and then you hit next again. <coughs> this is where your computer gets down and funky with itself. Uh, this is a very, very fast computer. Uh, one of the best computers I've ever had. Um, very, very quiet because of the uh, liquid cooling um, system that it has. Uh, and uh, the 
the solid state drive, which I've never had before, which um, it's very, very, very fast. My computer is having a party onto itself, um, <laughs> but that's okay because it was fixed in a few days. And I hope you enjoy this unboxing. Uh, it's been very, very fun. Um, I've had it for about a year now, and it's been fantastic. I've had, like, literally, I've had literally no problems with it. All right, thank you for watching, and enjoy your brand new computer.